Three estuarine nature areas in Belgium, England and the Netherlands are cooperating in the development of sustainable tourism in their areas. They call their collaboration STEP, Sustainable Tourism in Estuary Parks. STEP was set up in 2009 and was partly funded by the European Interreg Two Seas Programme. Now, four years further on, the results of this cooperation are visible. Each of the three areas in England, Belgium and the Netherlands lie near a tidal river. They have a lot of similarities. Although tidal movement in a freshwater delta is uncommon, it does occur in these areas. The Beastboss is an adventurous maze of rivers, unpredictable creeks, willow forests and reeds. Numerous species of waterfowl come to feed and forage in this vast area. All over the Beastboss can still be found remnants of the osier workers who worked the land for centuries. The Broads is Britain's magical waterland, a uniquely beautiful environment shaped by people working hand in hand with nature over thousands of years. This area offers visitors an experience unlike any other, both on its rivers and lakes, the Broads, and alongside them, on peaceful paths and cycleways, as well as in the unspoiled villages and market towns that make up the tapestry of this fantastic area. The boulders of Kreubeke in Belgium are a wetland under construction. The building of a flood control area should diminish the chance of the devastation caused by flooding. Besides protecting and developing flora and fauna in the area, important research is being carried out regarding tidal flows, side by side with sustainable ecotourism. We have uh, a brainstorm about the most inspiring sustainable projects in our areas. Both cooperation and the exchange of ideas have had an important role to play in STEP. Together with tourism entrepreneurs, visits have been organized to gain inspiration for projects in each of their individual areas. All three areas decided to take a closer look at their corporate identity. The Broads developed a new website. At Crowbaker, new boardwalks and benches have been installed. The Beast Boss's new corporate identity is to be seen at the entrance gates and with the entrepreneurs who are the park's ambassadors. The three partners organized a combined excursion to the Lake District to take a look at a concept known as visitor giving. The trip led to both the Broads and the Beast Boss setting up similar conservation trusts. Visitor giving is a simple way of inviting voluntary donations from visitors. Visitors who feel inspired to put something back into preserving the places they love. To improve access within the areas, the Beast Boss has instituted a solar ferry that offers connections to the various parts of the Beast Boss for cyclists and walkers. In Crowbaker, new cycle paths have been laid while still preserving the original cobblestoned paths. In the Broads, a pontoon has been built as a drifting landing stage that doesn't suffer from tidal action. With a view to improving overnight stays in the area, a student at the Design Academy has come up with an eco-lodge. New technologies have been used to enhance the experience such as the Park Ranger, an app for smartphones for all three areas. Listening chairs have been placed in the visitor center in the Beast Boss. Touch screens and the broads provide the visitors with information on flora and fauna. Crowbaker has held tree planting events to reach a wider section of the public. While in the broads, they held their two-week outdoor festival in May. 
The winners of the estuary trip competition made a trip to one of the areas, and students studying journalism from all three countries visited the areas and wrote articles on them for publication in their own countries. Sustainable tourism continues to develop. The three areas carry on inspiring and strengthening one another, so that in the future, more and more people can come and enjoy all that nature has to offer in these wetlands. Yeah.